All right. In this tutorial, we are going to look at iteration, and we'll focus more specifically on one type of iteration. For this tutorial, you will need access to an IDE that uses Python, such as IDLE. If you don't have access to IDLE, you can either install it for free, or search Python online to use your browser to write codes in Python. Let's begin. Let's first of all have a look at what actually is iteration. So iteration means repeating or looping. There are many times in our code when we want to repeat a task. So instead of repeating the code, we can write a line of code, a condition, that tells the program to repeat the instruction. There are two types of iteration. First, we have count controlled iteration, also known as definite iteration or for loops. This is when we know exactly how many times a set of instructions will be repeated. As an example, imagine being instructed to draw a smiley face for every number someone said as they counted from 0 to 10. No matter how many times we repeat this, we'll always get the same result. The other type of iteration is condition controlled iteration. This is also known as indefinite iteration or while loops. This is when we don't know how many times a set of instructions will be repeated. As an example, imagine being instructed to draw a smiley face until someone says stop. We have no idea when they will say stop, so the result may vary each time we do this task. All right, we're going to focus on count control first. Here's an example of a count control loop. Pause the video here and type this code into Python. See what you get, then try to figure out what is going on. So here's how it works. The i is actually a variable. You could call it anything you wanted. Number, blue, yellow, anything at all. We normally call it i because it stands for index, which means position. I'll explain that to you soon. Range tells the program we have a range or a list we are going to be working with. Then in the brackets, it says exactly what that list or range is. In this case, our range or list will start at 0 and end at 5, meaning we have a list of 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now, going back to the variable called i, this variable will have its value changed as it moves through the positions in our list or range. Every time the value of this variable changes, the instructions below will be repeated. And that's why you got the result you did when you ran this program in Python. All right, that's the end of part one. In part two, we'll look at another example of a count controlled loop.